Good morning and welcome to another video for the emergency medicine boards. This video is going to be useful for your MR Chem, FR Chem exams as well as for the American Board of Emergency Medicine and the US MLEs. Today we are going to look at EM toxicology section and what we are going to emphasize on is the antidote. Along with that I'll be giving some pearls and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe now uh, if you have learned something new out of this video please put in the chat section below so that uh, it is shared by people uh, there will be some some things which you may not be aware of and we will look at it it's going to be interesting little video so paracetamol overdose acetaminophen as we call it uh, paracetamol overdose the toxic metabolite is called as napki n-a-p-q-i and the antidote is an acetylcysteine okay let's look at the next one anticholinergic anticholinergic toxicity you will use physiostigmin uh, okay aspirin aspirin is the commonly used NSAID and the antidote for this is alkaline diuresis or hemodialysis another pearl over here with aspirin toxicity is aspirin will lead to respiratory alkalosis especially in children respiratory alkalosis especially in children and then lead to metabolic acidosis this is a widely tested fact ACE inhibitor ACE inhibitor if somebody's overdosed on ACE inhibitor intentionally or accidentally and they come in with hypotension the first step would be giving fluids but if it's not responding to fluids this is going to be shocking for you it is naloxone uh, the concept is naloxone ace inhibitor induces hypertension by acting on mu receptors and naloxone acts on mu receptors beta blockers beta blockers overdose it's very simple give them glucagon remember anaphylactic shock patient who's not responding to adrenaline despite you giving them adrenaline dose after doses and the patient is on a beta blocker you will have to reverse it with glucagon as well so two things over here benzodiazepine benzodiazepine normally do not need any treatment unless they are uh, overdosed and comatose uh, in acute overdose states we will use flumazenil flumazenil is the antidote for benzodiazepine calcium channel blocker calcium channel blocker again if the calcium channels are blocked what you're going to do is you give them calcium you can give them calcium chloride if they have a central line or calcium gluconate and if it's not responding give them glucagon again carbon monoxide it's very simple carbon monoxide you give them high flow oxygen or if they have undergone seizures or arrhythmias or comatose patient will have to go for a hyperbaric oxygen <clears throat> cyanide toxicity any house fires will lead to carbon monoxide plus cyanide toxicity and cyanide the antidote is amyl nitride sodium thiosulfate and a beautiful hydroxy cobalamin which is vitamin b12 debigatran debigatran is widely used nowadays and the reversal agent for this is the monoclonal antibody idarukizumab idarukizumab digitalis overdose somebody's come in with digitalis overdose <clears throat> what you give them is digibind antibodies digibind antibodies a classical ecg association for the exams is uh, the salvador dali sign which is like a mustache sign salvador dali sign on an ecg <clears throat> ethanol if they they somebody's overdosed on ethanol you can use fomepizol ethylene glycol if somebody's overdosed ethylene glycol which is found in antifreeze uh, you give them ethanol or fomepizol or they go for dialysis heparin somebody has overdosed on heparin accidentally or intentionally what you give them is something called as protamine sulfate the question here is when is protamine sulfate contraindicated <coughs> yes so protamine sulfate is contraindicated in vasectomized males because uh, the concept here was uh, protamine sulfate is made from salmon sperms and so if there is a vasectomized salmon sperms are nearly equal or looks have some genetic composition which is similar to humans and uh, if you give them protamine sulfate they will go into anaphylaxis so protamine sulfate is contraindicated in vasectomized males hydrofluoric acid we saw this last video as well the glass etchers hydrofluoric acid with simple burns externally but internally they will have necrotic tissue 
what you give them is calcium gluconate topical im iv local infiltration intra arterial calcium gluconate iron toxicity this is very classical coming in the exams deferoxamine is the answer deferoxamine <clears throat> when you send serum iron level and the sample comes back as hemolyzed it's by default they have taken a fatal overdose so hemolyzed sample that means they have taken quite a large dose so it's, do not hesitate to start defroxamine in these patients where there is a sample which is hemolyzed isoniazide isoniazide is a tb drug and the antidote for isoniazide is your vitamin b6 which is pyridoxine lead toxicity you need a chelating agent which is succimer or edta mercury toxicity you need dimercaptor succinic acid which is dms chelating agent myth hemoglobinemia somebody was in a popper's party or had taken nitrite containing drugs or sulfur containing drugs and they come in with shortness of breath and they the blood you draw is chocolate brown colored that is meth hemoglobinemia what you do is you use meth for meth methylene blue methylene blue and ascorbic acid which is vitamin c which is found in your paprinex methylene blue is contraindicated in what population methylene blue is contraindicated in g6pd deficiency methanol again you use ethanol for mepizol or dialysis methanol toxicity use ethanol opioids you're going to use naloxone organophosphates organophosphates you're going to use atropin atropin or 2 pralidoxim 2 pam tricyclic antidepressant patient is overdosed on tricyclic antidepressant coming with arrhythmias or resistant hypertension or seizures sodium bicarbonate is the antidote sodium bicarbonate 50 percent uh, 8.4 percent 50 millimoles sodium bicarbonate warfarin if somebody is taken warfarin overdose what you need to do is give them vitamin k and prothrombin complex concentrate if that's not available ffp is an option thank you for watching the video if you're liking this video please give give a thumbs up uh, hit the like button put in your comments below if you picked up anything new from this video and i will see you soon with your the next video happy studying peace